everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Erica and on this channel we talk about all things skincare. So today I wanted to try something out that's a little bit fun and I'm sure you've all heard of the carbonated bubble clay mask and this mask is from, oh I'm gonna wreck this name, Eliza Vecca Milky Piggy. So I'm sure you've all heard of this. It's basically the bubble mask that puffs up on your face. I've tried it a few times. I'm a big fan of it, really like it. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little half and half. So half the piggy bubble mask and half this charcoal bubble mask. So I've never tried this charcoal one before, but basically what it is is um, it's a sheet mask, which is different already because this is more of a creamy texture. And basically what you're supposed to do is thoroughly clean and dry your face. So my face is completely dry freshly cleansed no makeup no nothing and it tells you to apply it to your face and wear for 15 to 20 minutes remove the mask peeling slowly from the edges rinse away with water so as you can see in the drawing it should foam up just as much as the piggy mask so basically I'm going to I think start with this one and quickly cut it in half and then put the piggy mask on the other side or should I do it the other way I'm gonna do it the other way. So I'm gonna put the piggy mask on this side and I'm gonna put the, um, the carbonated mask with um, charcoal on this side. So hopefully this goes as planned. If not, enjoy the video. So this is my first time using this specific one. I've tried a friend's out before, but I've never actually had my own. So we're going to open this up. Ooh. I'm so excited <laughs> it's gonna be so satisfying okay so we're gonna open this up and basically they give you a little spatula so we're gonna start applying this to half of our face and I'm just gonna use my mirror over here and just stick this on everywhere I don't actually remember how fast this stuff starts bubbling up so that may be an interesting thing I should have considered but we're just gonna roll with it so already I've covered my eyebrow by accidently. By accident, I say by accidently. Everyone makes fun of me. It's okay. I'll pretend I know how to speak English. So we're going to try and put it on this half only. <laughs> so I think you can see that it's already foaming up on the chin so I need to hurry up so I think that's good for this half of the face it's definitely not on half my nose but that's okay I'm gonna put this over here and just close it so it's not interacting interacting with the air so I'm gonna open this one up as quick as I can you can already see it's starting to foam up and I'm gonna oh this one's black okay let's <laughs> let's see if I can cut this maybe I'm just gonna keep it folded over and see if that works. Oh, there's the eye holes. Let's see if I can just fold this in half and wear it on the half of my face. I don't know if this is gonna go well. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. I was gonna cut it in half, but honestly, I think just keeping it like this will be my best bet. So we're gonna put this on this half of my face. Ooh, that's fun. It looks like I'm wearing a mask. So we're gonna keep it on this half. Oh, I used to have the nose piece. Where did it go? Did it fold in? Ah, I'm losing it, I'm losing it. let the foaming begin so which one do you think is gonna foam up more comment down below I'd love to know <laughs> let's wait and see how long does this stay to wait again oh my gosh my hands are so full <laughs> After three to five minutes, and this one says leave on 
for 15. So that's kind of conflicting. We're gonna go with the piggy mask one and see what happens after that long. Ooh, this is so cool. So I can zoom you guys in and you can see kind of what's going on on my face. So it is completely foaming up. This is so satisfying. So we're gonna put you guys back down. So it is completely foaming up. This side definitely smells more like soap. It smells like, like actual soap bubbles. It's kind of grossing me out a little bit. So I'm gonna do what the piggy side said and just sort of remove Ooh, I have some of my hair stuck in here. Oh, that's a lot of hair, oops. So rub this in, pop the bubbles. This side, ugh. Whew. I'm gonna take that off, stick that back in there. And I'm gonna rub this side too. Keep to their respective sides. Oh, this is so satisfying. You can hear. satisfying so which side did you guys like more I feel like this side definitely produced more bubbles this one was more foamy than bubbly but definitely both sides did what they said they would do so now my face is fully washed I've washed off both the masks and what I can feel is that my skin is tight, but it does feel super clean and really refreshed. Again, I'm just looking off to the side to the mirror to see um, what exactly my skin looks like. There is this little red mark here from the piggy clay mask. I think that's honestly because the foam on the piggy clay mask was a lot harder to remove than the one on the other side that was just sort of a layer of foam on top. The piggy mask really gets in there and it's more of a clay form so it actually sticks to the skin. I to really go in there and sort of scrub with my fingers gently of course you always want to be gentle but I did have to do a little bit of scrubbing to get it but overall I'd love to say that both of these two ways of using a foaming mask so here with the bubble charcoal facial mask from DR I, I'm not even gonna try and say that name but from DR is just as Good and just as useful and just as foaming as the carbonated clay bubble mask so comparatively they're both fun to use they both do a great job at cleaning your pores um, this one has uh, charcoal which is interesting which is an ingredient that used that is used to sort of purify and this one has the clay aspect which is also a very purifying agent a lot of this is in Korean so I can't read it to you guys um, I think the box has some English here so um, so yeah, so it just basically says that you need to foam it up, lather, and wash it off. So great masks. I had a lot of fun doing this video and stay tuned for next time.